Right, we're going to do some real quick stuff tonight because it's way too late for doing this, but I want to do it anyhow. So anyway, it's more collectible minifigure times. I'm not actually sure which uh, which is which, so uh, I do, I'm do. i pretty sure that I've got stuff that I haven't got before, but I bought a whole bunch of them, and I've just picked a random bunch, a random lot for today. So it's going to be as big a surprise for you as it is for somebody else who's not me because I do vaguely know what's in here. Uh, there is still a surprise for me, it's just it's not as big as it could be uh, if I had no idea what I was getting. Um, if that makes any sense. Like, I picked a, I got a set of them, and this is a subset of those, and it's a randomly chosen subset from the greater set. So, let's have a look. What have we got today in Collectible Minifigure Land? We have got... Uh, ooh, it's... I don't actually remember getting this one. But I did. Okay, it is a big surprise for me. It's the computer... Oh, I need a little... Oh, I'm going to have to do it again, aren't I? Um, I'm going to have to open this one up. I don't really want to keep opening these things up. If only they didn't come sellotaped together in the first place, this wouldn't be such a hassle. I mean, normally I put them all together and then I just pin them to my wall. And then I have, like, clumps of these things on my wall. But I have stopped doing that since about the last couple of um, series. So I've got her, that's what we've got. She's a computer nerdy person, uh, I'm assuming, and you can tell because she's wearing like tartan um, something or other. Is that like a shirt or is, it is a shirt, she's wearing a shirt. Um, so it's plaid, plaid is probably the best term. I used to wear plaid shirts all the time, but I don't any, that's not true, I do wear plaid, I'm wearing a plaid shirt now. Um, so that's all my. <laughs> But I used to wear long sleeve plaid shirts, and now I wear short sleeve plaid shirts. Uh, and they're not really plaid shirts, they're more like, well, you know, I don't know. It depends on what you define plaid uh, as. Um, so anyway, she's got a little robot. She's not really a computer nerd, she's more like an engineering nerd who makes, what on earth is this piece? Whoa, is this like specially designed just to make robots? Um, I do like the little printed face thing. <laughs> it's a bit, it's kind of a little bit scary. I've just been building robot things, so, well they're not robot things, uh, a little game thing, which I might show, even though it's not related to this channel, uh, it went quite well, which is why it's late, because I wanted to get it to work, and it did work, um, but there's only so fast you can do these things, so there's the little, little, little robot thing, and she hasn't got any hair yet, this is a very elaborate hair piece, it looks a little bit like a, like, like a, like a giant crab thing, uh, She's got a very, very, very impressive fringe. No, that's the back of her. That's the back. I <laughs> think that was the front. No, that is the that is the front. Oh my goodness. Oh, I get it. It goes back like that. Uh, that's that's a good amount of hair. Uh, and very blue glasses. And I put her head on. No, I haven't put her head on the right, wrong way. There we go. She's got a double-sided head. And some binary on the front, which is probably... I'm just going to have a guess here. Uh, that doesn't actually make sense. I would actually, no, that could be. I'm going to guess it's the ASCII code for Lego. Uh, just, by, just by having a look at it. Uh, L-E-G-O. So I would assume that that actually lines up. Uh, oh, hold on. So those two are only out by a factor of two. So L E. F G. So yes, I'm going to almost guess, definitely say that is ASCII for Lego. And if you don't know what ASCII is, uh, it's American Standard Something Institute Institute letter things, which has turned into Unicode. So you could say it's Unicode uh, and other variety of things over the years. But it's a way of converting letters into numbers that computers like. Uh, and that's binary, and that's the way the computers work, and it only uses zeros and ones, and if you turn that into a decimal value, not that you have to, but if you turn it into a number, because uh, they're all numbers, uh, you can convert that into a letter using a standard code, and that standard code spells Lego. Right, and she has a little laptop, which has Lego on it, which is quite good. Cool. <laughs> I like, I actually, is that how they normally have it? I've never noticed that, but the Lego is like in the middle, like it's like a like a MacBook or something, or a, or an H or a Hewlett Packard machine. I say that because most of my computers are Hewlett Packards, so uh, I'm just going to go and stick with that. Uh, and they have a thing, or a Dell, it could be a Dell. 
Um, Alright, well she's pretty cool. Uh, very geeky, which is nice to see. Um, and what have we got here? We have got... Um, well, <laughs> why was I looking in the packet for that? The Gamer Guy. Uh, so definitely it's all about computers this evening, which is, this is like the most appropriate lot. Though I don't like his little, his little goatee. He looks like a, he looks like an obnoxious gamer guy. <laughs> um, I'm sure, you know, I'm absolutely confident there are some really, really nice gamer people out there. But if you had a goatee, my first reaction is, um, if they got a, oh, I feel bad now because I've got like a chain thing, um, <laughs> on my pants. Um, but they got a cute little head, little Lego head thing with, uh, with the headphones on. So that's pretty neat. It doesn't look like it's very bright in the camera. I don't know if that's just the angle here. Um, so I'll put them on their base. I don't know why I'm going to put them on their base. Because they want to, that's why. I kept feeling this thing in the packet. This guy is reasonably easy to get. Um, but I just thought, uh, what the heck, I'll get them anyhow. Because the little, little gamepad thing looks kind of cool. The hair is pretty cool. And, well, they're not that bad. Uh, I can't say they're too bad. They've got like lots of uh, stuff on their arms and everything. Not so much on their legs. She definitely wins when it comes to the legs there. There's like dual color and everything. Dual color arms. Uh, nothing on the... Oh, there's a bit on the back. A bit on the back. They always have to do the thing where they have to have like... Women have the the inward race. Which is like, well, you don't really have to do that. You know, you know, you don't... Like, I feel like Lego just really goes overboard when it comes to emphasizing that this person here is female. Like, we get it. They have eyelashes, which everybody has. But they're always like, you know, eyelashes, eyelashes. And they always have lipstick, and you know, it's like, well, you know, most of the time, they're not wearing lipstick. Women don't have to wear lipstick all the time, and at all, if they don't want to, um, and so it would be nice, and they don't have to have, like, waists like that. Um, and so, you know, if they're going to do one little marker, just do the one. Just the, oh, they've got eyelashes, you know, and they've got, you know, that kind of hair. That's fine. You don't have to have the lipstick. You don't have to have, well, I've got uh, red stuff on my hands. That's not lipstick. Um... You don't have to have all three things every single time. You can just, you know, vary it up a bit. Um, or just not have them at all. <laughs> but that's just my two cents. Like, I like the good old days when really the only difference between the boy and girl ones were that the girl ones had longer hair. And because they all had smiley faces, <laughs> there wasn't much. You know, like Jenny the space person, she's just, she's just the same as everybody else. Uh, except white, I think. Jenny's white, the white one, isn't she? Um, which reminds me, we've got to have a, a space theme thing. So, so what's this one? This one's in a plastic bag, which is a bit weird. I don't know why some of them are in plastic bags. I have to look this up on the internet, why they put some in plastic bags. Uh, but maybe it's because they come with these things, and they don't want these things touching the plastic, even though that was outside the plastic bag. Oh, I forgot to mention this. They've got space. Uh, play box, space game. <laughs> I'd play space game, it sounds great. Um, so anyway, we've got this, and it's the bath person. So that's that's fun. Um, I, I mean, I had to get this one because they have the duck. Uh, and they seem kind of slightly inappropriate. Like, what do I mean? Well, they are, they are, they are, having, they are having, having a bath in their, um, uh, I assume they're, Swimming, 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 uh, bathing attire, whatever you might call that in whatever country you are currently, currently in, because that's like one of those things that there's many different words for. Uh, or it's maybe just the under, the, these are the underpants of the person and they just wash themselves in their underpants. Or maybe that's just a really lot of bubbles, but it's just strange. Um, and oh, hold on, I'm going to say, I hope they, I hope they have them here because this is going to look, <laughs> that, that's a cool face. They look like they're having a lot of fun in the bath, um, or the shower, and this guy is like, uh, the, the, no, this is definitely the, one of the happiest faces ever, so every time I'm going to get one of these two-sided faces, and they're both like really grumpy, uh, I know I know where to get a new head from that will just make everything better. So we'll put that on, and they're like overly surprised at everything. <laughs> And they're gonna they're gonna be scrubbing stuff, and of course the main attraction, the oddly green duck. Um, those ducks do probably come. That's probably a slightly more realistic color for mini ducks than a bright yellow one. Um, 
Oh, I saw a duck today and I said hello. Uh, I, that's actually an entirely true story. And they were not yellow. and um, They weren't really green, but they were kind of slightly more green than yellow. Um, so that's quite cool. So I'm just going to leave that there because it's late. And I've got I've got some more of these, but I wanted to do two videos. Oh, what? What's what? Oh, wait. This is their bath towel, right? They're going to put the bath towel on. <laughs> how can we not put the bath towel on? I think their hair's going to fall off. I know why. How we can not put the bath towel on because these are really frustrating. Um, well, the big question is like really what you want to do. Like I've always done my towel with the with the sort of folding over so the folds over you know that they meet up on the on the side because you want you want if something embarrassing happens and I don't know, somebody was to see you you kind of want the split to be on the side so I'm, I'm going to try and do that and see if I can get that I don't think you can I feel like you should that would make a lot more sense and it's not going to let me is it you have to do it this way which means you either have to have I know there's no opening is it they go over like that I just need to chill out Alright, well I'm going to go this way first, which I feel like is the worst way. I should read the instructions. What do the instructions say? They say it goes in the front. Okay, well that's rude. Alright, we'll just put that there. It's like being at the hospital. Not that I've ever actually... Well, no, 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 I have been to the hospital. and I have, I have, Well, I haven't actually been in the hospital myself, but I've been to a hospital to see people. Uh, who have been who are in the hospital and they do in fact have embarrassing sometimes embarrassing hospital attire where you can see things at the back so that's kind of what this guy's got uh, the, it does fold over enough that you know then no one's going to notice <laughs> they're like oh 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 my goodness it's the worst day ever I dropped my towel uh, and my duck <laughs> I mean if you're in a public place and you're and you're changing of course you're going to take your green duck with you this is this is this is the outside duck, and not your not your personal uh, uh, orangey grey duck or something like a grey 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 or browny sort of colour. Is the ducks that I'm used to. Uh, well, they're usually a lot more varied in colours, but that's nice to have that duck. That duck is cute. Look at the duck. Look at the duck. Okay, focus. Is it focusing? It's not focusing. I don't really know. Um, so that was a good bunch. That was a good bunch, but I have got some more of the other ones that I'm quite keen on. So having said that, I have completely forgotten what... No, I haven't. I know exactly what is coming up, and they are all very exciting. So the ones that we've got so far... Not that I can find them, except for the bicycle, which is sitting right here. Oh, no, there she is. Uh, and I don't know where the other ones are. Uh, I've got... What have I got? I've got him and him. Here and the mummy uh, and did I, I got the pizza person didn't I I'm, like, this is the thing I was, I was I found the pizza person I'm like I've got the pizza person because I remember that's right they've got the boring green top and I've got that one and I've got that one uh, and I've got that one so yeah we're going pretty well I can kind of tell you that you know there's some of these that I'm just going to leave to the very last minute I'm not going to say which ones not not pointing them out at all so not going to show you what those ones are. Uh, this one's a possibility, just because it looks interesting. Uh, and everyone likes those kind of things. Um, but that's it. So good night. Um, like, share, subscribe, that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, more videos will be coming soon. Bye.